everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. Season 30, oh, 30, season 43, and this is war number seven. I cannot read that um, uh, alliance name, but it's SDK33. Let's see who they've banned. All right, Ghost, uh, Omega Sentinel, and Future Ant-Man, who I just got from the arena. Awesome, awesome. All right, let's uh, see what they have planned for us. As you can see, it's nice and early. We have not started yet. Uh, let's see, ooh, okay. Ooh, that's a tough fight on the first node. All right, second node, yeah. I always hate fighting Super Scroll. And then we got Man-Thing. Every time I see Man-Thing, I think Diablo. Um, future Ant-Man, so that's Magneto. So I'll be taking him. I usually take the Ant-Man future. All right. And then we've got Nimrod on this node here. We had to fight him last war on the other node. But this one, he should be easier to deal with. Um, this node here, this armor up, giving the defender 30% chance to glance incoming attacks. Very annoying when you have somebody that builds a lot of armor ups, but infamous Iron Man only has one armor up, so uh, that won't be too difficult. All right, so that's interesting. I would have probably flipped them if if I was going to place those two. I would have probably put Nimrod. Not that it was going to matter. I'm still I still going to take him, um, but he would have been more difficult on that note. I think. So, Claire, Magneto, and Hulkling can do that one, and he can do this infamous Iron Man. And let's see, yeah. Now, they'll, they'll have to uh, deal with that. Um, since I'm bringing Claire... I can take that Korg if I need to. Let's see. And Claire is only going to be fighting once. So, yeah, I'll probably... Yeah, I'll probably sign up for this Korg. Let's see. Yeah, so Claire, Magneto, and Hulkling. Hulkling for that Super Scroll, Magneto for this future Ant-Man, Claire for this uh, Nimrod, Hulkling for this um, infamous Iron Man, and then Claire for that uh, Korg. All right. Uh, we'll see if that's what I go with, but that's what I'm going to propose. And uh, after discussion, it may or may not change. All right, so... Let's get on with the fighting. All right, going in with Magneto, uh, Claire, and Hulkling. And I do have something to tell you about Magneto when we get to um, the fight where I'm going to use him, which is a uh, future Ant-Man. Uh, but for now, let's uh, take a look at these fights. First fight is going to be really, really tough. Okay, if you blink, you missed that first fight. Now, second fight... <laughs> Oh, man. Uh, anyway, the first fight is going to be this uh, Super Squirrel. And he's always been annoying to me to fight. And I do remember reading up on him because he gets armor ups. But there is a way you can play him where he won't get those armor ups. And it is not a way that I enjoy playing. So I would prefer to come up against him with someone like Hulkling where I don't even have to worry about that. I can just fight him uh, like normal. Okay, so here we go. Look at that, see? He's got armor ups already. But, doesn't matter. Look at this, just tearing him up. I might be special locked, but I don't care. I'm doing some damage. Look at what he did there. Boy, the speed that these 
<laughs> the AI, man. I can't punish it no more. He like threw the rock and it was like, bam. Now I would be down a lot more health, but Hulkling and his indestructible charge came to the rescue and some uh, regen. Hulkling, and if you fought him, you already know what a pain he is. Well, he's also a pain on uh, offense too. Look at him. So look at this. Let's tear him up. Even after getting hit all like that, I still didn't really lose that much health. I do love my Hulkling. Uh, there's a reason that uh, he almost beat out Hercules for a rank five. Almost. Ooh, Ascension is coming. I might have to ascend him. Uh, anyway, um, I didn't have to fight Man-Thing, but now I get to fight this future Ant-Man. So what I wanted to tell you in a previous video, in case you didn't see it, uh, in a previous video, I mentioned the Pacify Mastery. I do not have Pacify. If you are playing at an even higher tier or you take war even more seriously, you want to put Pacify in for this fight if you're using Magneto because it's safer. It's not that you have to because I'm not using it and I'm doing these fights, but there will come a time where it doesn't suppress like it's supposed to. Okay, the magnetize and all of that. Now, the thing that I wanted to tell you though is that his signature ability, we don't really talk about his signature ability that much. Mine is low. This guy has, not only is he only ranked three, which is not a big deal, but my signature ability is like 28. That is low. So take a look at his signature ability, but basically what his signature ability would do is it would give me more damage on my heavy attacks because um, once you're awakened, you do a burst of energy damage on your heavy attacks. And with every you know, uh, the higher your SIG level is. At this point, by the way, I'm wondering if he's ever going to fire his uh, special off. Um, but he did. Because uh, I was, like, getting nervous. Okay? But you do a burst of damage. And the higher your SIG level, the more damage you do. So your heavy attacks will do more damage. Then there's your damage mitigation. You'll take less damage on special ones and twos and all of that. Um, not threes, but you'll take less damage for those um, attacks that do crazy amounts of damage. So it makes you even tankier. Okay. So I'm probably, since it looks like I'll be, well, we'll see. I think it's a benefit regardless of uh, the season to have his SIG up. So I might start putting... Um, some uh, signature uh, stones into him because I haven't in a long time. The 20, I think it was 28 or so, um, I had started to. But then, you know, we had Kitty Pride come out and some others, and I had to get them to 200, you know. Um, but, yeah, if I'm going to be using him, which it looks like I am, you know, we use him uh, quite often, in fact. Um, on challenges as well as in uh, war, he deserves to have a higher SIG. It'll, it'll make it better. And I may take him up to rank four um, just for that little safety factor. Now, this fight is a pretty straightforward fight. In my opinion, they made a mistake by putting Nimrod here and infamous Iron Man on the other node. It should have been reversed, in my opinion. Nimrod is much more difficult on that node. And I'll talk about it when we get there. Uh, but on this node, as you can see, you know, he does have that glancing, which is annoying. And every time um, he gets an armor up, his glancing chance goes up as well, which is why you see me just, I'm watching it, but then he gets it again. I'm like, ah! All right, but anyway, he's got three, and I'm just like, come on. And I was hoping that that would reduce it, but it didn't. 
So at this point, I'm just like, all right, we just need to go ahead and get him down. He's annoying, but he's still not as bad as he is on that other node. You see, I'm just waiting out that unstoppable. Yeah, I did something a little bit dangerous. Uh, we used to do that with Juggernaut uh, before they changed it. Um, but now they changed it again, so we can still, you know, somewhat do it. Um, but we would parry him, stun him while he was unstoppable, and uh, hit him before he became unstunned. So it was it was a little, you know, fun thing to do. Uh, and, it, and it sped the fight up. So you weren't completely waiting for that, you know, um, unstoppable to wear off. All right, so look at the... Um, well, I don't know if I showed on this one. Yeah, I did. Okay, look at the node. Each armor up gives the defender a 30% chance to glance. Now, you saw some glancing already. Now, think about that. A 30% chance. Did you see how many armor ups Nimrod was getting? I think I saw four. Think about that. Chances to glance. Four armor ups. 30%. How much is that, my mathematicians? So here, he is way more annoying. But Infamous Iron Man only gets one. So he's stuck at 30% chance to glance. He's annoying. He definitely is. Um, but nowhere near as annoying as Nimrod would be. If they flip these two... He still wouldn't be that difficult on that node, but Nimrod would have been the better choice defensively, and that's why we often see Nimrod on this node. He gets all those armor ups, can't uh, nullify him or anything like that, and you gotta worry about the shock, which does extra damage. He does shock damage, plus he's glancing. Mm. And when you see me fight him, you'll see that it's just really annoying. And what I end up having to do is time things so that I'm hitting him in between those armor ups. So I have the best chance to um, not have my attack glance. But we got infamous Iron Man down. I didn't have to deal with the um, Terax. Although... I don't know. Hulkling might have been able to take uh, that Terax, maybe, um, if I had needed to. But we had a, a better option there. Okay, so I've got one more fight. One more fight. And that's Korg in the corner. Um, I'm usually the Korg killer, which is so funny to me because Korg used to drive me nuts when he first came out. But I eventually became the Korg killer for my Alliance quest back when um, it was in the bottom right-hand path, somewhere like that. Um, and I was always designated as the cord killer, and I used Havoc at that time. Uh, but this node, I've always disliked this node. If you guys remember when this node first came out, I complained to high heaven. And I told people, I know I'm gonna get used to it. You know, they were like, well, you just have to get used to it. I said, I know that but I don't like these kinds of nodes. I just don't like them. And you add in these input issues where you just saw me get hit with a um, heavy attack because I couldn't move. Um, that adds to it, very annoying. Uh, the other thing about this particular node is you've got to be able to put a uh, debuff on them, a damaging debuff in order to gain power. Well, my girl Claire got that covered because Korg is not immune to everything. And she's got at least two. I think um, poison and incinerate that she can put on him. That's right. She put it on him. And so all I got to do is play it cool, bait out heavies and specials. Don't try. Like, that is dangerous. You know, you saw me uh, dash backwards. That's dangerous because sometimes it will read it as a parry. And then that's it. I'll get ripped apart while I just sit here and look. Hate this type of node, but I have gotten used to it, as you've seen. 
uh, but I still don't like it. But I'll tell you this, I like it better than I like Root. Root is too triggering. I just I just can't take Root. Um, but anyway, so we bait out this special. Yep, special, special. Yep, 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 there we go. Shield shattered. Do do do. So it's really just a um, patient type of a fight. We've got plenty of time. As long as he's firing his specials and I don't make a mistake. Because I have made mistakes before. See that ghost dog? That's how you evade the uh, special one. Um, but I have done that. Or if I evade and I get caught in that, he just starts walking on you. Unblockable and unstoppable. That's scary. And you just try back up, back up, and then he dashes at you. And then it's a dex. And then he keeps on going until he's got you in the corner. Oh, man. But anyway, that was it for my participation in this war. And we'll be back in a moment, and you'll find out how this war ended. And we're back, and unfortunately, we lost this war. So thus ends our winning streak. It was a short winning streak. Um, and they, they beat us pretty good. They definitely put the whooping down on us. All right. Well, let's see if we can find some redemption next war. All right. So take care. Uh, hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video. And you all have a blessed day. Oh,